My name is Gerilyn Bywater McLaughlin. I'm the director of Defending the Early Years. Two organizations, Defending the Early Years and the Alliance for Childhood, are issuing a report showing there's no research to support the Common Core standard requiring children to read in kindergarten. The Common Core standards are in use in, um, in more than 40 states. And they state bluntly that uh, by the end of kindergarten, children um, should be able to read emergent texts with purpose and understanding. But there isn't any solid evidence that shows that children who are taught to read in kindergarten have any long-term benefit from it. In fact, many children aren't developmentally ready to read in kindergarten. There's a big age range. Some kids learn to read early, maybe at age four. Many not until six or seven, eight, or even later. When children are taught things that they're not ready to learn, it can create feelings in them of confusion and anxiety and inadequacy. There are 90 standards that kindergartners are expected to learn in the kindergarten year. So if you just think about that, you realize that teacher has to be concerned with 90 standards for every child in his or her class and, um, and accomplishing them. So it, it puts an emphasis away from a child-centered curriculum, away from children and teaching, and onto these requirements that are externally imposed. The standards are especially harmful, I feel, for younger children um, because they're, they were designed by people who aren't early childhood educators and they were backwards mapped from standards starting in high school. And so they, they focus on the wrong things um, entirely. And there are these developmental progressions that people in early childhood understand of how children come to understand print, how they start to write, how they learn to read, that, that good teachers know and know how to assess just by observing children. My name is Ayla Gavins and I'm the principal of Mission Hill School. So I think children learn best through their own past experiences when the classroom environment or the learning exercise or activity sort of mirrors what they already know. Young children learn through experiences in the real world. They learn through hands-on, manipulating materials of all kinds, blocks and Play-Doh and paints and art and and just ha engaging with all kinds of materials and they also learn through their relationships with other kids and with the teacher. All aspects of children, cognitive, physical, social, emotional, are linked together when they're learning. They develop capacities to solve problems, to think critically, to regulate themselves, to have original thoughts. These capacities and not the preset isolated skills like numbers and letters for our very youngest learners are what's going to lead to success in life for them. We call for the following actions and urge parents, educators, health professionals, policymakers, and others to work with us to bring about these changes in policies and practice. Withdraw the kindergarten standards from the Common Core so they can be rethought along developmental lines. Convene a task force of early childhood educators to recommend developmentally appropriate, culturally responsive guidelines for supporting young children's optimal learning from birth to age eight. End the use of high stakes testing with children up to third grade and the use of test scores for teacher evaluation and the closing of schools. You can read our full report, Reading Instruction in Kindergarten, Little to Gain and Much to Lose, on the website of Defending the Early Years and the website for the Alliance for Childhood. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this video with everyone you know who wants the best education for children.